Richard Dory, how are you? I'm very good, thank you, Richard. How are you? I'm not too bad, thank you. So we've got Richard Dory from Energy Solutions Oxfordshire um, to find out a little bit more about what you do and um, all about climate change. And we hear all these scare stories about climate change. What can businesses do to make a difference given the problems seem so huge and enormous? Yeah, well, as we've heard recently that, you know, we're on a code red for the planet, um, which can seem quite scary to a lot of people. Um, and when people get scary messages, they think, well, what can I do as a business? What can I do as an individual? You know, the little bit that I do really won't make a big difference. Um, whereas um, I'm a big believer in that everybody can do their bit. And if we all do a small bit, it will add up to a large amount to help um, reduce our carbon emissions, essentially, that will help then the effect that we're having on the, on the climate as a whole and to reduce some of the effects of climate change that will be coming anyway, but we need to reduce the effects of it going forward. And as I said, we can all do our bit um, and it's a big mistake to do nothing. So my clear message, you know, as Energy Solutions Oxfordshire, uh, which will shorten to o ESOX going forwards, um, is, you know, just not to sit there and do nothing, is to everyone can do a bit. It doesn't have to cost an awful lot of money to do something. And that's the big message I want to get across on this today. Excellent. And, and in a business setting, what are the major sources of carbon emissions that we need to be aware of? Well, it really depends on how far you want to extend it. Um, you know, whether you want to just keep it within your own operations or whether you want to include your supply chain um, or how things are delivered into your business. And again, depends on the size of business you are. But if you're operating out of a building, um, there's research done that shows that, um, uh, that at least 80% of the carbon emissions in Oxfordshire alone come from the buildings we operate from. So if we can focus on reducing uh, energy emissions from buildings and making our buildings far more efficient, um, that will really help. Um, you can look at you know, how you produce your, your products, if you are into production of products and how much energy you're using. Um, how you're using energy in terms of uh, can you produce energy on site rather than you take it off the grid so you can do local energy production using solar panels or or whatever um, look at the way you deliver your products um, do you have people on the road uh, obviously with ben and his ev cars i'm a big uh, supporter of electric vehicles um, so can you use electric vehicles for delivering your product and things like that um, and if you want to extend to your supply chain, what can your suppliers do to improve their energy efficiency and so on? And so it, it can ripple, have a ripple effect on the overall supply chain that you have and what everybody can do to reduce emissions. Obviously, a lot of energy goes into mobilizing everybody to, to do that. So uh, yeah, is that human <laughs> energy rather than, you know, carbon energy? <laughs> But is that how East, I mean, if anybody's watching and would like to find out a bit more about how you can help them? Um, what, what we, role, yeah, um, I mean, we have a defined process of what of what we can do to help businesses. Um, it's good for a business to have a starting point. And you know, there's a good Rowan Atkinson sketch which goes on about having a map and do we know where we're going to and so on. It's useful to know where you're starting from. Um, and we can help with that in terms of doing an audit of your premises, doing an audit of your business um, and state how much you are if, um, producing in terms of carbon emissions and then provide a plan on how to reduce those going forwards, um, whether that's putting energy efficiency into your building. Um, as I said before, producing energy locally through solar panels, using batteries um, and so on. Um, and we can build that into a complete plan for the business going forwards and, and also provide a return on investment as many of these things that you can do for your building will actually pay for themselves over time. It's just how long you're willing to wait for that payback. Excellent. So we'll put the contact details in, in the links uh, provided with this video and hopefully um, Club Platinum members will be in contact, Richard, and, and you can help them reduce their energy. Yeah. And I just like to say that we are a not-for-profit organisation, um, so whatever we do is quite very cost effective. Brilliant. Excellent. Well, good to see you, Richard. And we'll Thank you. Good to see you too. Take care.